Complete Control's companion software communicates seamlessly with the hardware. Adjustments that you make on the software should be reflected on the hardware and vice versa. So you're going to want to open up the software and you'll see that it detects your complete control. And as you scroll through, you'll notice if I use the browser and scroll through on the hardware, notice how the instruments automatically change in the categories and everything on the software. It happens instantaneously. And as I scroll through and select a different instrument, it is selected on the complete control software as well. Now, all of the options that are available on the hardware, like setting the key and the scale, are all available on the software as well, so that as I make those changes, if I open it up on the computer, you'll see it automatically was reflected on the hardware. So as I go into the scale editing mode on the software, the scale editing mode screen opens up on the hardware, enabling me to make the changes on the hardware if I want. So I don't even need to necessarily um, make the change over on the software side. I just pick a different scale. I see it says major pentatonic here. And then on the software, it now reflects as major pentatonic. With DAW control, it's a little bit different. As soon as you open up your digital audio workstation, as long as it was configured properly and you hit OK when it first started up, you should be able to control GarageBand or Logic or another compatible digital audio workstation with complete control. Certain DAWs require a little bit of extra configuration. We'll go into something like Ableton Live later, but with GarageBand, it's as simple as plugging it in. GarageBand will inform you that it has detected your complete control and ask you if you want to allow it to control GarageBand, and you'll hit yes. So now that I've done that, if I tap the mixer button over here, I now have control over my track volumes. I can see the tracks. I can select the different tracks by pushing the soft buttons, and I have full transport control as well. There's nothing specifically that I need to do to enable that other than to acknowledge it when I plug the device in. And again, with certain DAW software, they all handle transport differently, and they all handle um, using MIDI machine control and outside controller devices differently. So we'll get into that for some of the other programs that you might want to use complete control with. But as you can see, it's pretty seamless.